you've got a beautiful street like this that has so much charm, you can only imagine how this next home is going to unfold. Hi. Tom, how are you? Lucy, how's it going? It's going good. What a pretty day in Canberra to see such a pretty home. It's turned it on, hasn't it? It Very has. Nice. What are we going to see today? We've got a beautiful French heritage renovation. Yep, it sounds gorgeous. Let's go. Let's have a look. Tom, this home has so much character. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so gorgeous. So it's an existing home. How old was the original build? Uh, original build was built in the 20s. Wow. So 90 years old. I can imagine it was quite closed off. Absolutely. Where we're standing right now, was this was this a wall? Yes, yes. So this was completely closed off with a small servery through into the dining room okay. um, and just a, a regular doorway through into the, the lounge room. So uh -huh. really opened it up and an old house like this, a lot of structure, concrete lintels, very difficult thing to try and move around and change. It's completely seamless. I actually am standing in it right now, not sure of where you've No, it's begun. difficult, yeah. <laughs> built in the 1920s. While we're in the kitchen, let's talk about this gorgeous kitchen and let's start with the magnificent floors. Absolutely, <laughs> where absolutely. Where are they from and tell me the story. So uh, Joy, the owner, actually, she travels to, to Melbourne quite a bit. Yes. Um, and she drives past a small town, Jugion. They have a, all different types of timber. Um, the flooring here actually came out of France. She just fell in love with it and we had to do it. Um, our, our floor layer actually wouldn't even lay it. It was too out there for yeah, him. Uh, yeah. So we ended up laying it ourselves. That's and crazy. It, it was quite a challenge. Our carpenter actually did an incredible job. Yeah. A lot of time spent, uh, a lot of planning and leveling and all that sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, the, the floorboards being hundreds of years old, They're out so of amazing. old churches, old oh. barns being milled up was, you really don't know what's going to arrive off the back of a truck and just getting that right was, was a huge part for us. Within the home, you've created so many beautiful little spaces. You can have a, a beautiful cup of tea over here and mm. there's a nice family dining area and a, and a quiet place to sit in that lounge room. Yeah, having, having uh, the layout that they did have of sort of small rooms, small areas, is, it sort of led us to have quite a few little areas that are uh, intimate, yep. light flooding through the windows, and it worked out quite nicely. It is so much light flooding through the windows. Yes. Those windows really do add to, to the, the feel we, of the home. We really tried to keep the size of window and the amount of window consistent throughout, just because it, it really does that. The, the way the house faces just allows for that to happen. I love the feature that you've got going on here in the kitchen with that red brick. Tell me the story. Absolutely. So existing fireplace. Yep. Um, oh, wow. Didn't really know what was behind it. It was previously rendered. You're kidding uh, me. No. So we sort of had an idea sitting down with Joy to strip it back and see what was behind it. Yep. Um, beautiful red bricks. Yeah, it's um, kind of a treat. Absolutely. They, yeah, they were in a, in a bit of a state, so we did have to clean them up, repoint them and replace a couple of bricks, but really beautiful result in the end. Moving through to those beautiful bedrooms and starting yes. with that master. I love what you've done there, how you've created that ensuite behind. Yeah, yeah it's gorgeous. What, what was originally there, they had they had a small bedroom there originally and yep. with a small sort of dingy bathroom and off the side of it. And that's how they were, 1920s bills, the, the bedrooms were small. Absolutely, um, and really knocking that down primarily back to footings and starting again and extending both ways um, up out and back yeah. to make make it really open and, and vibrant. You did go up and I think that yes. is the key and I've never seen that before to be yes. honest because you've got this beautiful um, master bedroom and then what you've created within that, mm. that ensuite is gorgeous. And also too, I'm noticing those windows within the master. Yes. And you can see it just floods that light through Absolutely. the Absolutely. And how did you go with the homeowners? What kind of interaction was there between Joy and Rod? Uh, actually a lot. Yeah. They were absolutely beautiful to work with. Mm. They uh, they stayed in the house the whole build. Um, wow. Yeah, so they they battled wow. it out. <laughs> uh, this is one of the original homes in the ACT and it was it was built to house medium, oh, sorry, mid-level uh, public servants. It was built in accordance with uh, the Walter Burley uh, plan, which uh, was the architect of the overall uh, city of Canberra. I furnished the house with um, furniture that I've had for many years. 
um, furniture that I had from my parents um, and from um, friends that have actually given me pieces of, you know, their furniture, um, which I've found really special and really wanted to incorporate into the home. And I think, you know, there's so many, you know, so many special bits that um, make the home, make the house a home really, um, and make you feel really comfortable having them around you. The experience with the builders were fantastic. Um, I, I actually really enjoyed having them around. What Perry and Tom do employ are craftsmen. And uh, they come in here, they understand what you're trying to achieve, and they go over and above to achieve it. And that's really, really important. Rather than just throw it up, they actually work on the job and they pour their heart into it. Tom, I love so much how this whole home is really tied in with that magnificent garden. Absolutely, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is so beautiful, and the country girl inside of me is busting to get out there and just <laughs> sit under those trees. Are you cool with that? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Tom, this home and this garden is so incredibly stunning. I just love what you've done here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Do you get excited about doing this kind of build? Absolutely. This this kind of build really fits my my way. I, I really enjoy the, the heritage and keeping all of the, the corners, architraves, flooring, all of that sort of thing throughout really, really turns my dolls. And where do you think Pickleman's going here? <laughs> Pickleman's where? changing a lot, actually, yeah. um, with Eugene and myself coming on board with Parry. Yeah. Um, we both sort of started as apprentices with Parry and uh, sort of working our way through and now directors in the company with Parry. Yeah, we, we normally speak to, to Parry and, yeah. and he's amazing. <laughs> I tell you what, I think you're giving him a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> so the constant theme that I'm seeing we, we, amongst you Pickleman boys and over this past season that we've, we've, we've had the pleasure to be able to, to know you all is that mm. you're so passionate about doing things that are a little bit out of the box. Absolutely. We really enjoy working with the clients and being able to bring their dreams to life. That's really what we love doing. It is such a cool thing and time after time we're seeing the results are exceptional. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not a good build, they're great builds and they're <laughs> exciting. Yeah, we really try and uh, hit that mark. It is absolutely so cool. I tell you what, I've had the most amazing day and we couldn't have had a better day. Thank you, Canberra. For absolutely, it really goods. did. <laughs> <laughs> and I think to top it off, it would be nice to have a little cup of tea. What do you think? I agree. Let's do it. Go.